Danish model Freya Bea Eriksson opened more shows this season than any other model. Perhaps it's her dimples that designers are dying for. I've been doing about four to five shows a day. Sometimes just three, that's a good thing. And then of course a bunch of fittings, so. I'm just trying to like stay calm and don't think about it, you know? If you got people pulling you from everywhere, just... I mean, I got like this kind of filter that I'm so used to it that, I mean, I barely even notice it. I got stuck on the street at some day in Denmark, it was like two years ago. And then I've been working in Denmark for a couple of years. And then last season I started the shows. When this happened on the street, it's been happening, I don't know, like five, six times before. But I was, I was like pretty sold on that I didn't want to be a model. But then it was like the best agency in Denmark, so I figured that if I had to try it, I would do it now. I'm modeling full time right now, and I, to be honest with you, I don't really have any clue what I'm going to do afterwards. Well, when I'm not working, I'm usually just back home in Denmark, hanging out with my friends, seeing my family, trying to just live a normal life and keep this as a job instead of a way of living. You know, I don't do any sports. No, I never have. I probably never will. I'm not autistic <laughs> either. I'm just like normal girl. Well, my family's been really supportive about everything. Um, they're just, I mean, I don't see them that often anymore because I'm traveling all the time, obviously. Um, but I mean, they're really, they've been really supporting and like one of the best for me. And I think that both my mom and my dad had the, the thought that if this is going to work out, I mean, let's do it for a couple of years, you know? It was really fun in the beginning to see the magazines, like, wow, that's me, but Actually, you get used to it really fast, at least I do. But I mean, it's still fun, like, to see you on a billboard or whatever. I think I had this idea that, I mean, it was tough, but it wasn't that tough. And now, especially during the, the fashion week, you really learn that it's, it's extremely tough. I mean, you don't sleep, you don't... I mean, it's not that glamorous as I thought it would be. And um, it's not that easy either. I think the hardest part of modeling is traveling a lot and being alone, being away from friends and family. I mean, it's, it's pretty tough.